What I'm formulating in terms of an architecture is massively parallel and modular. If I say had like a Prodways machine, God, they are nice. They're super expensive uh, and big as a house and they produce thousands and thousands and thousands of parts at a time. That's great, but nobody's got anything to do while all of that's happening. So, and if it breaks, well, good luck. Maybe you'll get somebody out from France. You know, because there's really nothing. You can't touch anything. It would go off warranty. Everything would be bad. And then you have a uh, quarter million dollar, or half million dollar piece of machinery doing absolutely nothing whatsoever. So, uh, what Jim Glidewell put to me was, hey, can you get these things much cheaper? And then we can have them just like any other piece of laboratory equipment all over the place. And I said, yeah, I can do that. I can certainly do that. And we explored it to the point where we were like, truly, massively parallel uh, manufacturing is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Instead of having one machine doing a thousand parts, a thousand machines doing one part works a lot better uh, because the parts come ready in design and off and another part back on. Yeah. So it streamlines, instead of having this sinusoidal curve, it flattens that workflow into just a single stream. Yeah. And that, that actually ends up having real financial benefit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, that is the way to go. Because of the stability of the system, yeah. and because it's modular, and if anything goes out, we can swap them out, yeah. and we can add, and say if one department needs more, you know, they're like, wow, they're really growing. Somehow they got really popular. Yeah. Well, we can reassign, or we can get more, mm -hmm. and we can expand or, or contract based on usage, so we don't have machines sitting around doing nothing.